posted anything, but I said, you know what, there's no time like now, so I'm driving, I'm actually on my way to work. And so I said, well, you know what, I'll just, I'll just share a video right now. All right, so today what I wanted to talk to you about is about the time of the year we're in. I will specifically want to talk about the calendar. According to our Gregorian calendar, we are on Thursday, May 9th at the time of the recording of this video. Again, it's Thursday, May 9th, so we're in the fifth month of the year. However, for those of us that are believers, we know that we really are in the second month of the year, at least according to the biblical calendar, according to the creator's calendar, we have entered into the second month of the year. So that being said, I think it's still appropriate for me to say happy new year, right? Okay, so you're like, Jamar, what are you talking about? Well, again, for those of us that follow the biblical record, we are in the second month. So in Leviticus 23, God outlines his feast days. Those feast days, of course, you have your weekly feast day, which is Sabbath. Then you have Passover, you have unleavened bread, you have Pentecost. Um, then there's the Feast of Trumpets, then there's the Day of Atonement, and then there is the Feast of Tabernacles. So all of these are the feasts of the Lord. In particular, Leviticus 23 verse 5, God talks about Passover taking place on the 14th day of the first month. So for those of you who keep Passover, we kept that last month on around April 19th, 20th. That's when Passover took place because that was 14 days after the beginning of the first month. So the first month did not begin on April 1st. It did not. It actually took place on April 6th probably wondering, well, Jamara, how is it that you know when a month begins or when it ends? Well, in Genesis chapter 1, God talks about the sun, moon, and stars are for helping us to determine times. So, you know, days, years, things like that. So, it helps us to determine times. Specifically, the month is, uh, we are able to look at the moon to determine our month. By looking at the cycle of the moon, we're able to determine where we are in the month. So how we know when day month, day one of a month begins is we look at where light is, the, we look at the placement of light on the moon. Specifically, you look for a thin light, a thin crescent of the moon on the right side of the moon. That lets you know that you're on day one. So again, on the right side of the moon, there's a thin crescent that lets you know that is day one of your month, whatever month you're in. Now, when the moon is black, that means it's in conjunction. It's between the sun and the earth. That lets you know that that's your last day of the month. You're at the very, very end. When, you, when it's a clear night, you look up in the sky, you can't see the moon because it's in conjunction. Again, that's between the sun and the earth. That is the last day. That's the end of your month. The next day or the next time you see, the next time you see a thin sliver of light on the right side of the moon, that is day one of your month. So as you're progressing through the month, as um, as the light continues to grow on the right side of the moon, the moon is waxing. You get to the middle of the month and you have a full moon. Then when the moon starts or when the light starts to wane, when the light starts to diminish on the left side of the moon, you know that you're getting towards the end of the month all the way until again, the moon becomes black or when you can't see it anymore. So that's how you determine your months. So last month, during the first month, we saw a thin crescent of the moon on April 6th. Don't believe me, just go and Google cycle of the moon. There's a lot of sites that do it and you'll be able to see the cycle of the moon. So on April 6th of last month, that's when we saw the first sliver of light, the crescent moon, um, that let us know that was day one. This week, again, today is, April, today is May 9th, I believe that the crescent um, within the thin light showed up on, I believe it was May 7th. So that let us know that we had entered into the second month. So month one, is 
Abib or Aviv. That was the term our people used uh, in pre-exilic Israel. Then when we went into the captivity, they took on the Babylonian term of Nisan. Month two is called Ziv or Ziv. I might be saying it wrong, um, but that is the pre-exilic term. The Babylonian term is Ayar. So again, this is how we're able to determine our months. Again, you look at the right side of the moon, that thin sliver, it lets you know that's the beginning of the month. Moon waxes, gets brighter, brighter, brighter. You get to the middle of the, of the month, it's a full moon. And then as we start moving towards the end of the month, the moon starts to wane, the light of the moon starts to wane, and your light starts diminishing towards your left side all the way until it goes black, and that's the very end of the month. With that, I hope that's been helpful to you to help you determine what month we're in. Um, we're getting ready. We're, we're in the countdown to the next feast day of the Lord, and that's Shavuot, or uh, Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks. Um, and so I, I, I probably will come on and do another video later on as it, as it pertains to that feast day. With that, I hope that you all are blessed. Have a wonderful rest of your week and shalom.